there's always more I want it all, excluding you Losing control, so construed, oh Hey everybody, welcome back to the GSL I'm Tasteless and with me is Artosis And uh, I am shocked to discover that Next Lip Forever does not feel the automaton uh, impacted his loss that game since it is a known fact at GOM TV that if you kill a neutral unit, usually the Panda Bear guy in StarCraft 1, you're going to lose the game. So that's a shocker. He doesn't know the uh, the history of the Panda Bear guy. Lost the game, won the series. I'll kill the Tom Tom guy in every single map if that's the way it's going to go. And that's the way it's going to go, man. Yeah. It looks like it only costs you one game in StarCraft 2. Uh, guys, we got a very exciting match coming up next. We have the one, the only fruit dealer duking it out against OGS Inca. That's right. Fruit Dealer is nah. the last Zerg in the tournament. You know what type of fruit the ancient Incas liked? What kind of fruit? I don't know. Probably pomegranates or something. But I don't know. <laughs> everyone's like, uh-uh, our toast, those are from Europe. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta guys. get out of here. I gotta get out of here. It's grapes. <laughs> anyway, The Fruit Dealer is going <laughs> to deal out some serious fruit this game. Yeah. Everybody's rooting for this guy um, because Zerg's been having such a hard time with early StarCraft... Uh, Two, you know, patches not being as helpful for Zerg. That's a general consensus amongst good players. That's not yeah. just the opinion of um, Artosis. I mean, that, there's even statistics about the Zerg have just been having a harder time. But the fruit dealer is the last hope. Kerrigan has the hots for this guy. Let me just tell you that much right now. <laughs> she's the, not the only one, Taste. She's, she's not the only one. Yes. Is something else. That's right. It is the prettiest girl I've ever seen. I agree with uh. that. Now, OGS Inca, oddly enough, Protoss versus Protoss, his way to this that's, phase yeah, of the that's, tournament. That's quite true. He's had nothing but Protoss versus Protoss. We haven't seen his Protoss versus Zerg. His Protoss versus Protoss is very scary. Yeah. Very dynamic. Might be the scariest in the I think tournament. it's the scariest I've ever seen, yeah. actually. Um, we've seen everything from, you know, a nice Colossus timing builds to a complex three-gate Void Ray rushes with Void Ray um, charge juggling on rocks. We've seen him, um, you know, do cannon rushes. That um, you cannot stop in PvP, some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen. You could see them in some of the previous games. Um, now, we don't know what his PvZ looks like yet. So, if it's as good as his PvP, this is going to be tough for the dealer of fruit himself. Mm. Well, a couple fun facts about Inca. For all those PvP matches, he didn't actually sit down and just play a bunch of PvPs. He was just practicing overall all his yeah. matchups. So his PvZ isn't going to really be rusty. Yeah, it has so that's, that's a good thing. Another thing is, he's actually been one of the best PvZ players on the Korean server for quite some time. You've played against him, correct? Yeah, I've run into him quite a few times. And uh, he's, he's quite good at PvZ, so it's going to be a hard match. Now, the first map is going to be Kulos Ravine. Yeah. Now, here's something pretty cool. I was talking to Spunky uh, back when you were getting your awesome hair done. You look so handsome Thank today, you. By the way. Thank you. I actually look like this all the time. I don't uh, even need to put makeup on. But. <laughs> but, yeah, I was talking back there to Spunky, and he mentioned that, well, here's Fruit Dealer. I'll talk that story when we get to Inca. But Fruit Dealer, a.k.a. Cool from StarCraft 1, Pro Gamer. Pro Gamer Zerg there as well. And in the round of 64, he took out Eternal Prime 2 to 0. Round of 32, we got Next Taja 2 to 0. And round of 16 took out OGS Top 2-1. to one. That's a great series. Everyone's got to go watch that. So he's actually oh, been yeah. slaining Terrans left and right. Those Terrans got slayed, too. They did. They got bopped, man. Yeah, and that's... the Fruit Dealer now going to see if he can take out a Protoss Inca. Now, I really, you know, in a way, I want to see the Zerg move on, but Inca's so solid. He is. Uh, he's very solid. But as far as Zergs go, uh, Cool is as solid as... A Zerg, a Zerg can be. Yeah. <laughs> Most of those bricks are usually pretty squishy I because know, Zerg's man. been having a hard time. That's, but That's the thing. Now, um, we're going to introduce our next player in just a minute. Now. Yeah. We've already talked about him a lot. Inca. That just so you guys know, don't be confused. There's actually two Incas in competitive StarCraft. There's the Korean Inca on Team OGS. Then there's the uh, other Inca, which is spelled with a K uh, from Team EG, an American top player. So if you've seen brackets for non-Korean tournaments, these are not the same players. That's right. Now... Inca took out three Protosses, Senkenware, Rex Zandark, and San Zenith. And let me continue that story real quick. Spunky actually planned out the entire Kulos game. The entire first game on Kulos Ravine has been planned out by Spunky. He said it should be really good. He's got every part of the game planned out already for Inca. A very interesting strategy, I'm told. I can't wait to see it. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with Spunky, he's the leader of OGS, um, an RTS legend. He one of the best Protosses during most of StarCraft 2. That's right. He was a top Warcraft 3 player, top StarCraft 1 player early on in the game, and the best 
Come in and conquer Red Alert player. He's the coach for the OGS team. So whatever build Spunky's the architect of, yeah, that's going to be pretty scary. As you can see, the Fruit Dealer fans in the audience. Fruit Dealer fighting. And <laughs> that is a scary. Those are some scary eyes. Man. <laughs> yeah. Um, lots of Fruit Dealer fans. Actually, all Everyone's around the world. Everyone's a Fruit Dealers fan, man. That's right. We all love fruit, and we all love Fruit Dealer. Fruit is good for you, unless you're playing against the Fruit Dealer. You know, certain fruits are better for you than certain other fruits. What, what, what's, the what's berry it? family is actually the most healthy fruit oh, family. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah. yeah. You know, strawberries have more potassium in them than bananas? I did not know that, yeah. actually. No, I am like the fruit Wikipedia, man. Yeah, you, I know, you know, I know fruit. everything about well, everything. This guy's a vegetarian, so that's <laughs> all I can really eat down here. Um, we are going to go with the maps up here next. Now... Maps in PBZ really impact the build orders. Um, there's some maps where Protoss can do fast expanding. There's some maps where Protoss have to one base. Mm. Um, and, of course, it also impacts how quickly the Zerg can get the expansion uh, up in time. Now, generally, um, in StarCraft 2 right now, Zerg seem to be having a harder time than they did in StarCraft 1 um, at getting a base up quickly. Yeah, but these new, the new patch that just came out helps with that a lot. Slows yes. down Zealot build That's time true. quite a bit. Also slows down you know, some of the things with Terran quite a bit that they were getting rushed with. So uh, the fast expansion is a little bit easier to get up. And really, Fruit Dealer didn't even care about how quick Zealots could be made before. They simply, he would just simply make a 14 hatchery anyways. You'd just be like, all right, cross my yeah. fingers. Yeah, he's Let's very see. aggressive at forcing that yeah. uh, hatchery up there, which is pretty interesting. I mean, this guy's capable of just all inning you or 14 uh, hatchery, anything, anything at all. Here's the map lineup. We got Kulas Ravine, Lost Temple, and Zell Naga Caverns. Now Fruit Dealer takes out Delta Quadrant and Steps of War. Good choices. Inca takes out Desert Oasis and Scrap Station. Good choices also. Desert Oasis, of course, actually a very tough map for Protoss. Yeah, it's actually these, beat Zergon. <laughs> the, the new patch where the with the destructible rocks that cut off one path make it much harder for PBZ. Yeah, that was a smart move by Blizzard. Yeah, that's that really helped that map out for uh for Zerg. I'm also really excited to see what kind of maps are going to uh, come out because they're obviously going to have to keep making new and uh, you know improved maps. So um, as the game evolves, the maps are going to be evolving too. Yeah. Kulas Ravine can be a pretty tough map for the Zerg to secure an expansion. We do see a lot of four warp gate all in rushes. I don't know if that's what we're going to see from uh, him this time if Spunky has some kind of secret strategy. Well, the way he was talking about it, he didn't He didn't tell me the specifics. You know, when I'm a Zerg player and I'm liable to go over and tell Fruit <laughs> Dealer exactly what's coming. But, uh, no, it seems like the whole game is going to be planned out, so I don't think it's just going to be an easy kill. Uh, I think it's, you know, maybe some early harassment or something like that, but definitely a few stages in the build. So well, one, that's my guess. One thing about Inca's builds is it seems like if you haven't seen him before, you're not going to be able to stop him in time. The countdown has started. Let's do this. Inca against... Uh, the fruit dealer. <laughs> Quarter final. Quarter final. Up here. The one, the only. Guess what he's doing? It's called the six pool. What's up? Oh my god, no, no way. Why is... Okay, well hold that thought. Down here we have um, our Protoss player named... Now, wait, is he... One thing oh, I... Oh, dude. Oh my god, dude. Dude, he's gonna... He's that he's six pulling. Pull it's pretty exciting. One thing I'd like to point out, look at this. He's using mineral boosting, but that was actually fixed in a patch a few hours ago, if I believe... If I'm correct. <laughs> oh my uh -huh. god, well... Spunky's going to be pissed, man, because when yeah. the build, yeah, it's planned out for this. Spunky. <laughs> it's, it's not Dude, good. if I planned out a beautiful strategy, I'd be up knocking on Inca's window, throwing <laughs> six fingers on the window. Well, fortunately, the uh, player booths have bulletproof glass, so yeah, I don't know if true. he's going to be able to uh, kill him after this six pool. Now, for those of you who are new to StarCraft um, 1, even, or if, 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 excuse me, StarCraft, StarCraft 2, any, the, there's something known as four pooling or five pooling. In StarCraft 1, in StarCraft 2, because you start out with more minerals, it's known as 6 pooling. It's a very aggressive all-in strategy, somewhat of a coin flip, very micro-intensive, and if you're playing against a player who's a little bit too greedy, makes his structures late, you could be in trouble. The only way to really stop it is to spot it in time, or to have a build that's pretty safe. Now, this is actually really important. The probe's scouting the wrong direction. The drone should come down and find where the Protoss base is. As long as he can prevent uh, another gateway from going down exactly next to that one to wall off, 
As long as he can prevent that with his drone, this should be ridiculously deadly. He should be able to win with this attack. The fruit dealer. You'll eat this fruit pretty quickly. <laughs> now he can use the drone to block this here. Yeah, going to uh -oh. start in on the uh -oh. pylon. Uh-oh. It's coming. I don't believe he knows. Oh. He does make the drone. The drone of the probe can fit through there. And, and he goes after the pylon. And Inca is in so much trouble right now. Sup, fruit dealer. The fruit dealer takes kills the, the pylon. pylon. Totally huge. Now he's just got a micro like crazy. And he's got to kill a lot of probes here. Now I'm going to highlight just the Zerglings for you guys here. Notice the spy, 12 of 10. He used some extractor tricks to get out more Zerglings, which are on the way. That means he makes extractors with his drones to make his supply green again, makes the Zerglings, cancels the extractors, and starts mining again. Beautiful moves by Cool. Now there are more links on the way down here. Right now these other links have been softened up quite uh, a bit here. The Zealot is almost out, though. Inca's done pretty good, uh, a pretty good job microing his... You uh, cannot let him be hit. Does not want to engage his Zealot. He needs to kill more probes. Now, note, he was not mining any minerals that entire time. By the unit bar, five probes, six, Zel six uh, drones right now, and eight Zerglings. The eight Zerglings, he's just going to rally them down. When those get there, the game should be pretty much over. Oh! oh! Nice control there by Inca, but Inca only with four workers left, one Zealot. He might actually have to give up the position here, unless he can get a second Zealot out in time because these links will defeat this Zealot. That'll force him to lose the gateway, lose the pylon, and have to stay back here and defend with just these units. Inca, whatever strategy he spent this whole time trying to master, the Fruit Dealer does not want to Oh, nice deal positioning with. there. Yeah, All he's got to do, really, is target probes, though. Yeah, just, just target, target probes, the economy's gone. Right now, Fruit Dealer, he's still got six drones, totally fine. You know, all of Spunky's good planning. Uh, kind of going to waste here. And, and Fruit Dealer, wow. Inca's in a nice position here with the Zealot behind the pylon. But there might just be too many lings. Yeah, it really looks like it. You can just kind of attack. Just move command, get around that Zealot. There you go, taking out that first Zealot. Now going after the second one. And probes going down, one probe down. One Zealot left. More Zerglings filing in. I think Inca's going to have to GG any second. There we go. The Fruit, fruit Dealer. dealer. He wants a top four. He wants that money. Says, I don't care if my race isn't winning anything. <laughs> I'm going to anyways. Fruit Dealer with a very shocking, incredibly risky strategy. You know what kind of smile he's got on his face right now? He's got a, a no. banana grin. He's got a banana grin right now. You know he's going to get that money. Fruit Dealer. Damn, we have not seen a strategy that was that risky in quite a while. Normally we expect Inca to do something uh, as risky as that, but actually... That sucks for Inca because... That, that's the cool thing about Fruit Dealer. Yeah. He is... He can macro, and he can cheese you, and he can play tactically. He can do everything, man. The Fruit Dealer, a very talented StarCraft 1 player back then using the ID. Cool. <laughs> His strats are like apples and oranges. You just can't compare them, Tasteless. You just... <laughs> I'm sorry to cut you, you off. I had to say that before no, I left good. my brain. That's good. That's good. <laughs> uh, so, Inca's down one game, and that was the map that does not favor Zerg. Yeah. Who lost, Ravine? That's right. That's right. The next two maps, uh, better for Zerg, Lost Temple. I actually love this map for ZVP myself. Yeah, it's a great uh, map. We've seen a lot of Nidus abuse on the ledges. It can be very strong in this map. And then Zelnaga Caverns, it's a very good map for Warp Gates. Yes. Any pro proved me right finally when he did it. Uh, well, we'll have to see what what happens there if we get to that game. Yeah. Lost Temple is the next map. Lost Temple, not going to be a bad map for the Fruit Dealer. Uh, some of it will come down to positioning. Ideally, fr ideally, Fruit Dealer would like to spawn uh, farther away from his opponent instead of closer so Fruit Dealer can get that expansion up. Now, I'm curious. Inca's a pretty solid player, but he's been known to do some wild strategies similar to what we saw Fruit Dealer doing. Do you think we're going to see him do anything risky, or is he going to play very standard in game number two? Uh, if I could make Cool's, or rather Fruit Dealer's, uh, playbook for him right now, I would say, you know, play a standard game here. Okay, what about Inca? What do you think he's... Inca? I think he should go ahead with a pylon block at the bottom of the ramp and cannon. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. The countdown started. Let's get ready. Inca versus Fruit Dealer. <laughs> 